Well, hello there and welcome. My name is Amber and I make videos on all things books. And today we're talking about books, specifically a mini book haul. A little happy package came my way this week and I wanted to share with you all just a few books that your girl was looking at. So lately I have really been into just having like solid books in my hands. <gasps> These look so pretty. This is part of the reason that I like having books that are physical. Look at this. Look at this. They're all lovely. Look at this. And look at this. Oh my gosh, but like, seriously, look at these colors. Like, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. But yeah, I've really been into getting, um, like physical books. I was using Kindle books for a while, but now I'm all about these babies. So these are the four books that I got and we're just gonna talk a little bit about them. What they entail, the goodies inside, the pages. Okay, let's start with Big Summer. This has been on my radar for quite some time. I'm excited to read it. It is by Jennifer Weiner. Um, I apologize in advance for any names that I happen to say incorrectly, whether that's the author or the character. I'm going to do my best to say everything as wonderful as possible, but sometimes, you know, I just am me and it doesn't happen that way, but I'm trying. So, okay, let's talk about this little beauty. So it's about two girls. Their names are Daphne and Drew. They used to be friends, I'm guessing best friends. They got into some kind of fight and they're no longer friends. However, um, six years after their fight, Drew actually reaches out to Daphne asking her to be her maid of honor. And Daphne's just like, what? We haven't talked in like six years. We're not friends, but um, why? Aside from their fight, Drew was was the girl when they were in high school who got everything that she wanted, but she wasn't good at keeping friends. And in high school, Daphne was more of a sidekick. And now Daphne is living a life that she really enjoys. She is a plus size Instagram influencer and she doesn't really wanna go back into that space, you know. But um, Drew is very persistent to get her to be her maid of honor and she says, look, There'll be boys, single cute boys that you could possibly, you know, talk to. And then there's also going to be this mansion on Cape Cod we're going to go to. So as Daphne's making the decision, she doesn't know what to do. And she's kind of feeling powerless towards Drew. Um, I'm guessing that's probably something that happened in their friendship before. So Daphne's kind of like, maybe, maybe, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure, but it sounds like a great great story about friendship and I think they describe it, I like the way they say it. Um, it says, um, a sparkling novel about the complexities of female relationships, the pitfalls of living out loud and online, and the resilience of the human heart. Big Summer is a witty, moving story about family, friendship, and figuring out what matters most. So I think this is going to be really, really cute. I know that it's a pretty popular book for the year 2020. Again, this cover is gorgeous. I'm excited to read it. Okay. Next we have, oh, I'm so excited for this, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Now, when I was reading up on this book, uh, it said if you like the author from One of Us is Lying, something like that, then you will like this book. I loved One of Us is Lying, so I am so excited to read this. I love a good mystery. Okay, so this story centers around um, a murder that happened to a girl named Andy. She was a popular senior at the time at Fairview High School and her boyfriend killed her. His name was Sal and then afterwards he took his own life. It was the talk of the school forever and five years later a girl named Pip who is now a senior is very much interested in this case. For her final, for Pip's final project, she wants to reopen the case. It's been closed, but she wants to reopen it because she thinks maybe there's some things that are not right. Maybe something could have got wrong. She doesn't know if Sal actually did it. She knew him or she had met him before when she was younger and she thought he was really nice. So she's like, eh. So as she's doing her investigation, she's expecting to find, you know, some things, but not the stuff that she ends up finding out. There are dark secrets that come out. Um, that kind of show that maybe Sal was innocent and it also kind of escalates and it seems like somebody does not want um, Pip to keep investigating this case and they're going to do whatever they can to stop her. So I'm going to read another sentence um, from the book. 
that kind of closes this out but it says this is a story of an investigation turned obsession full of twists and turns with an ending you'll never expect so so yeah excited to read this one and i will read it okay the next book we have is by an author that i really 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 love and that is colleen hoover I like her books i love her books so this book is called regretting you and it is about a mom and a daughter who want to be nothing like one another the mom's name is morgan and the girl's name is clara and clara is 16. morgan the mother had clara at a young age and she does not want clara to end up in her situation and clara doesn't want to be like her mom she doesn't think from what i understand her mom is spontaneous at all basically i guess she thinks her mom is pretty boring and safe and they get into it all the time because of their differences but the peacemaker uh in their relationship is this guy named chris that is morgan's husband he's also clara's father and like the family anchor now chris unfortunately tragically passes away and the way he passes away it's some kind of accident that seems kind of sketchy and they have to clara and morgan have to rebuild now um morgan she is going to find comfort in somebody she did not expect and clara is going to find comfort in a boy that she's not supposed to be around or she's forbidden to be around and i'm going to read the last sentence again because i feel like all these sentences close out these books so well um, but it says, with each passing day, new secrets, resentment, and misunderstandings make mother and daughter fall further apart. So far apart, it might be impossible for them to ever fall back together. So I'm excited to read this. Really want to know what happens. And I hope they can work it out. So, regretting you. Okay, we have Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. And this cover is so cute. Like, I can't. It is so cute. Okay, so there's this girl named Prue. And she's this overachiever and she is always quick to cast judgment on the residents of her town who were rude and arrogant and just annoying. One day after a night out with friends, she wakes up and she has the ability to, you know, enforce instant karma on all the people she can't stand. And let me tell you, Miss Prudence does not hold back and she does that. She does it to the people who are gossips and for all the different scandals and all that good stuff. Her powers consistently backfire when she tries to use them against a guy named Quint who is her lab partner. So the book describes uh, Quint as annoyingly cute, uh, noble and he works at like a rescue center for sea animals and this is when it gets a little weird to me so prudence decides to work at the rescue center for extra credit the same rescue center that quint is at actually i'll read you exactly what it said it says when prudence works at the rescue center for extra credit she uncovers truth about baby otters environment upheaval and romantic cross signals. Her karmic insights reveal how thin the line is between virtue and vanity and generosity and greed and hate and fate. I mean, I can see where the book is going with it, but isn't that a little odd? I don't know, the flow of it was just, or the, the direction it went when I was reading about it was a little not what I was expecting, but again, this cover is the cutest thing ever and the concept overall is cool and I'm excited to read it. All right, guys, that concludes my mini book haul. If you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I make videos every single week and I would love to have you here. With that said, until we meet again, go read. Bye.